getting you ready for Halloween yep. all week here on Sunrise this morning. How not to binge on all of that Halloween candy. Yeah, we're calling this the psychology of candy. We've got Carlos Diaz, who's been picking the brains of people and discovering they each have their own family tradition. Yes, uh, one person told me to eat with your offhand. So <laughs> this is called the Southpaw technique. Right. You'll have to think about it and eat less. Then there's the isotoner technique. You wear gloves around the house after Halloween, making it impossible to tear those little candy wrappers. <laughs> I found out that there are a ton of techniques, and I heard them all. <laughs> I have to put my candy in a jar that I can't see through so that whenever I look at it and I don't see the candy, I can resist. But if I can see the candy, then I'll eat it. Well, I'm a guidance counselor at a high school here, and I take all of the candy to work and give it to the kids. I am an enabler, but at least I'm not eating it. The way <laughs> is brush your teeth, because nothing tastes good with toothpaste. Yeah. I would totally brush my teeth. Yeah. Yeah. That totally does not taste good with candy. It's hiding it, probably. Hiding it up high, because I'm short, <laughs> so I can't get to it. Do you have any surefire ways to not binge eat the Halloween candy? No, it's impossible. I eat it all. <laughs> so then I have to increase my workout regimen, and I basically work out to eat. Make a scavenger hunt for yourself, so that way you're getting up and being active, and you're eating less, so technically you're not binge eating it. You're just like... Oh, like, you know, Hansel and Gretel finding a piece of candy in the woods, only less creepy. Instead of dragging it out and having them, you know, ask for this candy every day, on and on and on, throughout the holidays, they just get to binge eat as much as they want that night, and by the next morning, it's all gone. Do you have a special method for not eating all your Halloween candy? I don't like chocolate. That's my secret. I like sour stuff. That's it. Normally, all you get is chocolate. You got these two little ones. How do you keep the candy out of their possession? We take it to our office, and we give it to all our coworkers. They didn't know that. <laughs> buy the things I don't like. You buy things that you don't like to pass out to kids? That's right. I don't buy the things I like. My husband's actually a dentist, so he would prefer they not eat any candy at all. He tried to make a deal with them that they eat all the candy in one night, and then we could just throw it away and not ever see it again. When my children were uh, little, I would take handfuls of candy and throw them away when they weren't looking so the next morning they didn't realize it was gone. So this is your daughter? How do you feel about that? Gypped. <laughs> Now, the two most popular techniques were to hide the candy right. or let the kids eat as much as they want on Halloween night and mm -hmm. then throw it all away at midnight, kind of yeah. get it all out of the way at once. Thanks to Christine Anderson, who hit me up on Facebook to tell me about the eat your veggies technique. That's where you hide the candy in the freezer right behind the broccoli. Oh, kids there will you. never look there. No. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Thanks, Carly. I was going to bring you guys candy, by the way, but, you know, I'm trying to keep you guys from binge eating. You're so, so appreciate sweet. that. Yeah. Yeah. It's like why we come. We thought we'd get candy with a candy store. Stay with